A man is in the Oklahoma County Jail tonight accused of stealing nearly $70,000 worth of trailers and equipment in the metro. News 4's John Hayes joins us in studio with details after the suspect's latest attempt led police right to him, John. Kevin Jolene court documents say Michael Brown was methodical in his approach. He managed to shake authorities for nearly a month between alleged crimes at two different locations before a third attempt gave him away. My trailer got his attention. Edgar Rodriguez is talking about the trailer Oklahoma City Police say Michael Brown is accused of trying to steal from this Southwest 89 storage facility April 29th. He was able to, uh, you know, finagle the mechanics of the gate and find a way to, to leave that gate open. Court documents say Brown put a piece of tape over a gate sensor, waited until someone went inside and followed. He failed at hooking up Rodriguez's trailer and a utility vehicle before leaving empty handed. On oh, my trailer, I have the, the uh, electric uh, jack, so he messed it up and he also knocked down the uh, lock for the hitch. Rodriguez is not the only victim. Court documents say police discovered Brown had two other successful burglaries in March. That includes a trailer from another storage facility in the same part of the city on March 2nd and this travel trailer from an Edmond business's parking lot March 5th. He uh, led officers to where that trailer was stolen from the first theft uh, to a, a place out in El Reno. Documents say police arrested Brown while he was wearing the same clothes and driving the same vehicle he used in the April 29th attempt. They also found suspicious items in the vehicle after a search, like a lock picking tool set, bolt cutters, mask, and numerous tags with tape on them. He was booked on grand larceny complaints as well as burglary complaints. And online court records say Brown already had previous burglary convictions in Cleveland, Logan, and even here in Oklahoma County.